Mr. Prime Minister. Um, <clears throat> sir. Taking the liberty of writing you some responses to their question. No, no, no. I write the narrative, not you. Sorry, Mr. Castle. Just do what we discussed. Blame the fucking deep state. <laughs> Sir, you should be prepared for any questions regarding the ongoing investigation by the Privileges Committee. Our supporters won't care. Even if they can prove we lied, he could literally shoot the monarch in the face and still not lose any voters. It's incredible. Well, we could also face a major backlash over the growing number of sexual assault claims within the party, especially from the opposition, sexual assault awareness groups and sexual You abuse. know I am automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. I don't even wait. Grab them by the pussy. You can do anything. <laughs> no, no. Not you, sir. We all know who the real culprit is, don't we? The sooner that cock-pinching fuck resides, the better. He's Hensy. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir. As well as why you've put up the import tax on garlic, removed all the mirrors from Westminster, and hold most of your briefings late at night, they may also ask about the comments you made last week. Which one? The, um comments about women wearing burqas in public. Some are calling it Islamophobic, which is obviously absolutely ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous to people who choose to go around looking like letterboxes. Oh, sir. What should we do about the... Uh... Yeah, don't worry about it. Hello, my friend. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> Same problem as before. Are you able to help us out? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we could swing a World Cup your way. study or torture chamber should you be feeling a little adventurous with the main feature being these bulletproof windows which are also UV protected so no need for sunblock in here sir <laughs> I don't give a fine fuck how you do it. Just get it done. Mr. Castle! Yeah. Mr. Castle! He's expecting a complete refurbishment. Mr. Castle! Mm hmm. Well, it's quite simple. You just transfer the money from one bank account to another. Yeah. That's it. Mr. Castle! Yep, that's fine. Just what's happened to me. We have a problem, sir. Ah, the inequality minister has arrived. Hey, neighbour. How's the age getting on? Bullied him into submission yet? What do you want, Cassandra? I thought I'd bring you a parting gift. Let me in, Barnard. Otherwise, I'll let everyone know about your little trips up north during lockdown. He's upstairs.
I've just been made aware of another sexual harassment claim within a party. Should I add it to the list? I hope it's not that fucking idiot watching porn on his phone again. Mr. Prime Minister, I'd like to formally hand in my resignation. I can't take it anymore! I just can't! I can't believe you had a cheese and wine party without me! It was a work event, Cassandra. Yes, I know that. But I thought it was going to be in the garden like all the others, but no! You were in the fucking cabinet room eating fucking cake! Actually, we ambushed him. You really are a cunt, aren't you? Here we were, thinking you'd come to have a moan about some minister grabbing your saggy tits. I would never rape you. Because you don't deserve it. How do you think Mr and Mrs Cunt Senior are going to feel when they read all about those reach-arounds you gave on the back benches? <laughs> the press will never buy that. Cassandra, they'll buy anything I'm selling. If I ever run the party, you will be the first to go, Barnard. Run the party? <laughs> There's more chance of the pound crashing. Now, pick up your little letter and fuck off. Jesus, why would anyone want to assault her? It's always good to have a little leverage. Remember that. Did you really not invite her? Oh, please. <laughs> Fucking bus. It was meant to be here an hour ago. What? Don't you read your fucking contract? We've used you enough times. Fucking idiots. No, it's not good enough. No, it really isn't. Yeah, you talk to your manager. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you do realise this is the first day of a fucking major campaign. And you have fucked it up. Just getting your fucking act together. Uh, Mr. Carson, where's the Prime Minister? Why are you asking me that? You're the fucking campaign photographer. He's on a tour around the factory. Which is something you're meant to be on. What? You promised us a big red bus, not a blue one. We're not fucking Remainers. Uh, well, it wasn't on the schedule. Um, what about the campaign speech? Where's that happening? I might as well have taken up my own fucking phone. I'll, um, I'll be right here then. Yeah, and he's entering on a zip line too. Zip line? What zip line? Just fucking do it. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, indeed, Mr. Castle. <laughs> the Archbishop is very much looking forward to hearing the Prime Minister's apology for the comments he made during our Easter Sunday service. And we're very grateful to get the invitation. It was most unexpected, especially considering that we've never actually met the Prime Minister. Well, there's obviously been a major fuck up here. Yeah, I mean, why would the Prime Minister. What Mr. Castle to... means to say is that he's very much looking forward to addressing the Rwanda asylum plan with the Archbishop, but tonight may not be the best time, unfortunately. The Archbishop feels it poses a series of major ethical questions and is opposite to the nature of God. And his understanding of the scheme has in no way been misconstrued, as the Prime Minister alluded. Noted. Well, thanks for popping by. I'm very sorry about this. Please give the Archbishop our best.
Yeah, yeah. No, but he, 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 he didn't like okay. me. Okay, this way, please, madam. Okay. Okay, bye. I really don't think I can do anything. Oh, I mean, I can try. Yes, well, I mean, he knows what he's doing, they all do. Uh, why don't you sit back down on the bus again? That should warm you up. In your own time, Max. No rush. Okay, okay. I I've got to go. Love you. Bye. The Prime Minister successfully began campaigning for a second five-year term at a bulldozer factory today. Our guests will be discussing why the PM is the best man for the job. The issues with the world... Couldn't find any more O negatives. Gender, Hope you'd be okay with a few ABs. I'm assuming there's a difference in taste or something. How far ahead is the PM? His car should be pulling up to the building right now. Great, so we've got time to go over this meet and greet with the President then. Why? The guy will just use it as a bragging contest. Why do you think that orange twat is so smug? Do you really think that a campaign for more blood banks is the best thing that we could come up with? The PM just wants a murder-free blood supply. Well, the optics look good. It's even engaging with voters on the other side of the aisle. And little do those fucking Guardian reading, tofu-eating wokerati know that most of the blood is going down the PM's gullet. Well, actually, the majority of the engagement has been from our own membership. Oh, bless the old racist southern bastards. Ah. Max, your optimism is going to give me a fucking aneurysm. Sorry, I can't help it. It's just the way I was brought up. Yep. Me too. Fuck, he resigned. <laughs> he raped 10 women. I never would have expected that from him. He surprised us all. Oh, we called him perfect deep for a reason. <laughs> you can't really blame the guy. It was in his nature. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got there? Um, nothing. Just checking they cleaned up properly. Thanks. Think very carefully about what you're going to say next. Brexit, COVID, the bloody recession, all pale in comparison with the decision you're about to make right now. Now hand it over. I didn't mean kind of leverage. Looks like our Max has forgotten his place, sir. Hungry? Sir, so, so, please, uh, I, I, I didn't mean to use it in any way. I, I, please, sir, I was, gonna, I was gonna hand over the lanyard. Please, sir. So. <laughs> I was just starting to like him. <laughs> We're going to need another aid. We are so fucked.